buying and selling. Let us read problem number one. Ronald does buy and sell. If he bought a bottle of perfume for 1,500 pesos and sold it for an additional 20% of the cost, how much is he selling the perfume? Before we answer the problem, let us discuss first the different terminologies we will be using in dealing with buying and selling. Number one, cost. Cost is the purchase price of the good. Ito yung halaga ng good nung binili natin siya. Number two, markup. Tinatawag din siyang margin. Markup is the amount added to the cost to arrive at the selling price. Ito yung idinadagdag nating amount dun sa cost bago natin siya ibenta. And number three is the selling price. It is the sum of the cost and the markup. Now, let us go back to the problem. What is the cost? Ano ang halaga nung pabangon nung binili siya ni Ronald? And that is 1,500 pesos. Therefore, 1,500 pesos is our cost. Next, what is our markup? Again, markup is the amount added to the cost to arrive at the selling price. But, take note of the problem. Hindi ibinigay ang amount ng markup, but rather, ibinigay ang rate nung idadagdag mo sa cost. And that is an additional 20% of the cost. So, ang 20% na yan is the rate of the markup. What is the selling price? Okay. To solve for this, we have to take the 20% of the cost as stated in the problem para ma-determine natin kung ano yung markup. To solve for that, we're going to take 20% of 1,500 pesos. That's 1,500 times 20%. And 1,500 times 20% is 300 pesos. So therefore, the markup is 300 pesos. If we are going to add the 300 pesos to the cost of 1,500, we will arrive at our selling price. Selling price is the sum of the cost and the markup. 300 plus 1,500 is 1,000. 800 pesos. The selling price of the perfume is 1,800 pesos. Also, let's give emphasis on the 20% of the cost, meaning the markup is based on the cost. So, if we are going to take the percentage, the cost is going to be the 100%. And the selling price is the 120%. Problem number two, Raymond owns a merchandising shop that sells a variety of items. He bought item A for 450 and sold it for 600 pesos. What is the markup? What is the markup rate based on cost? In this problem naman, the given are 450, which is the cost of item A, and 600 pesos, which is the selling price of item A. What is the markup and what, is the mar and what is the markup rate based on cost? To solve for the markup, we are just going to subtract the selling price and the cost. The selling price of item A is 600 pesos and the cost is 450. 600 minus 450 is 150. Therefore, our markup is 150 pesos. Next, what is the markup rate based on cost? So, this is based on cost. The 100% is going to be our cost. And markup based on cost is equal to markup divided by the cost. Our markup is 150, our cost is 450. Dividing 150 by 450 will give us 0 0.3333 or 
this is 33.33%. Our markup rate based on cost is 33.33% and our selling price is 133.33%. .33